we're entering a period here of more news around layoffs. For the last six months or so, we've seen layoffs really centered around technology. And so this is really a, you know, a technology layoff story. Um, but the reason that it's, it's raising alarm bells, it's because it's Google. And uh, we're talking about one of the biggest companies in the world with one of the biggest kind of war chests in terms of cash. Um, and one of the, one of the maybe most robust, you know, and, and, and strong moat business lines in its ad, ad business uh, around. And, and so um, at a recent conference, uh, Google CEO Sundar Pichai mentioned that Google is going to look for ways to, to try and find 20% more efficiency. And uh, while, you know, nobody's hinted at uh, layoffs, I think the there's there's a there's a wink wink kind of thing going on here where um you know you wouldn't at a at a at a conference say that you're going to be laying off people but it, it it's almost inevitable when you think about the macroeconomic factors right now so i mentioned the the robustness of the google business model and you know it's it, i mean it's been months now we've been kind of talking about this here on this channel but when the world goes into recession the first thing that typically gets pulled is ad spend it's the easiest thing to pull uh, when you're making business decisions and uh, you know when that happens or when it, when when you you know talk of recession happens or talk of pullback happens you pull ad spend first the second thing to then do is pull um, on your headcount and another recurring theme on this channel is, is the idea of last and first out over the last, you know, 18 to 24 months. There's been so much movement, so much churn in, in, in the labor market that companies like Google, if they have to do he uh, reductions in forces, if they have to lay people off, they're going to look at, okay, who has the skill set to really, you know, be of value if we're going to try and seek 20 percent improvement in efficiency are we going to do it with the people that have been here for a long time and know what to do or are we going to do it with you know the, the new batch that came in you know six months ago uh, and are still learning how to be a google employee so you know the, this talk around efficiency and productivity i think is is that's the next kind of paradigm or or, or you know, storyline in the media, I think that that's going to happen because the Fed is going to continue to raise interest rates. I think that's that's an inevitable thing as we chase lower inflation, you know, whatever their target is, 4% or, you know, 2%. I don't remember the exact number, but um, we're still way off that. So they've got to rake, uh, they've got to hike interest rates. And with that, companies are going to have to figure out how to navigate a world of more expensive capital. Now, Google, of course, is not in this position, I, I don't think, uh, just as a function of their, their business and then, you know, the fact that they're public. Um, they have access to cheap capital regardless. It's the idea that companies now will, will look for ways to find more productivity and can use that almost as smokescreen for you know the finding of uh, you know laying people off and then making themselves leaner companies will not want to live with too much fat over the next 24 months if the world goes into a place where you know especially for a business like Google ad spend falls consumer demand falls i mean it's uh, the consumer is basically the entire lifeblood of Google if there are no consumers spending money a la recession um, advertisers, are not, advertisers are not going to want to use the channel as much to to advertise, right? They're, they're not, they're, you know, oh, the, the consumer isn't there. I don't need to be there to, to be in front of them. And if that's the case, then Google really falls apart on, on a few different, you know, angles. And so, it, it, you know, tech has been hit really hard over the last 12 months, I think. Uh, in terms of layoffs, I think it, it's really most of the layoffs have been centered around technology. We haven't really seen, I guess, other than the last forty-five days, um, a, a real uptick in, in layoffs 
that's broad based across the economy. I think the last forty five days we definitely we definitely have. I think um, some of the work that we've done with with one of our clients um, on the great firing and the great resignation, I think, is showing that there, there's definitely demand for um, outplacement services and, and layoff support and, and stuff like that. So the layoffs are, are starting to go across the economy, but for the last twelve months, at least, it's been very centered around technology. And, and you know, when you think about technology. The linchpin or the, the the top of the totem pole is Google. And you think these companies? I mean, we did a. I, I mean, I did an episode a few weeks ago on on Apple and their layoffs. And then, granted, they were only um, making cuts to contractors, uh, not full time employees. I think the same can be said for Google in terms of how strong they are as a business. They don't need to make cuts. They don't need to really seek twenty percent more efficiency. Um, you know, if if we pull up pull aside kind of the fiduciary responsibility of the CEO and, and all this stuff to make sure that their share price stays up, um, in terms of like, are they going to go out of business if they if they don't find this twenty percent? No. Uh, if are they going to go out of business if they hang on to the employees? No. Um, but it's just this we're we're going into this world I think where uh, enough's enough. You know, the, when we think about the quiet quitting stuff, you know, just the other day I did an episode on. Uh, half the workforce being quiet quitters. You know, just enough's enough around um, just skating by, you know, just, just kind of doing the, the bare minimum. And companies, are, you know, that are in competitive places, Google being one of them, or in ca- competitive kind of business environments, they're, they're just going to find ways to to get rid of the the, the bloat that most companies have, have kind of picked up over the last two years, you know, as a function of, of a lot of money being in the system, um, inflated consumer demand. Everybody thought, like a good example is Peloton. I've done a lot of a lot of writing and, and uh, thinking on Peloton. Just the idea that uh, we make we've made decisions as as companies over the last twenty four months, thinking that demand was was at that level. You know, when when everybody had the stimulus money, everybody had there was just like too much money in the system. These companies that have picked up bloat on that, on uh, during that time, are going to find ways to get rid of that bloat. I think, and and yeah, because it's it's it, when you think about even just being a manager, right? I think about um, managers that I speak to regularly, you know, executives that I speak to regularly. It's just tiring. I think this environment where you've got too many. Uh, too many chefs in the kitchen, so to speak, um, and and you know th- this environment where everybody seems to want more and and you know but productivity is is declining. I think it's it's just in in an, in an art an article that I read that sparked this uh, this episode. The you know the, Sundar Pichai is is at the conference and he, and he's talking about how. Um, they're trying to read the tea leaves, right? Like they're trying to figure out what's happening at the macroeconomic level, and and that when you look carefully at the macroeconomic level, and this is something that James James and I have talked about a lot um, in our own private conversations. But you know, even before on uh, on his channel, we we've got recordings and 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 stuff where we talk about the macroeconomic outlook. Even when we were talking about this stuff a year ago, it's just really really tricky uh, to be running a company now. Uh, to be trying to make money, to be trying to, you know, do better for yourself. I, I'm a firm believer that life is life is about uh, finding little edges, for, you know, and and really exploiting them when you can. If you are the kind of person I think that is uh, is ambitious and and wants to do well for yourself, I think now is as good a time as ever to sprint, because the whole world looks like it's jogging and and really kind of jogging to a point where they want to stop. And you can really separate yourself, I think, if you sprint now as a, as a professional, as as a company. Um, if you're an organization that's looking to to really trigger growth in Q4 or, or early next year, I think now's the time to really start doing the planning, um, to really say, okay, what is our competitive advantage? And then um, can we get leaner? Can we get more efficient now so that when January 1 comes around and everybody does their you know, inevitable New Year's resolution stuff and, and, and oh, I want to be better this year, you guys have already hit the ground running um, because you've made the plans and, and you've already done that. I just think like the smart companies are going to be talking about this now um, and, and it looks like Google is, is, is one of them. Uh, 
with their with their seeking of a 20% improvement in efficiency.